Right, good morning, greetings. This is today's lesson. Remember the previous uh, one, just more examples, which, which you must do on your own. Our new lesson is trig equations. And uh, let's see, if you look at the first example there, all these examples are from your textbook, by the way. If you must find the size of an acute angle, theta, now that means all these angles are in the first quadrant, right? So if you look at cos of theta equals to 0, 0,5, then you know the ratio is given and you must find the angle. So you look at the solution, then of course on the calculator you remember, whether you use a Casio or Sharp, doesn't matter. It will be second function or shift cos. Remember now? That is what you should do. Then you put in your 0, 0,5 and you'll get your answer of 60 degrees. Right. I'm sure you all can still do that. Right. Look at the second one. You will do the same with 10. Right. You'll do the same with 10. You can practice on your own. And of course, the same with sine. So you can, 1, 2, and 3, you can go practice and see can you do it on your own. Okay, then if you look at number B, you must round your answer off to one decimal. Now it is slightly different, so what must we do here? You must first divide by 2, don't forget that. So there's your solution. So you first divide by 2, then again, shift or second function sign, Put in this 0, 0.562 on your calculator, and it should get 34,2. Then the next one, the same. This one here, sine of 2 theta. Take note, the definite is 2 sine theta. This is sine of 2 theta, so it's different. So this one, 2 theta. So you don't divide by 2. It stays 2 theta. Then you just say a second function, a shift, comma, 4, 3, 5. And once you get that answer, then only do you divide by 2. I hope it is clear, guys. Okay. Then the next one is this one here. Half, 10, 2, it equals to 3. So what are we going to do here? Let's see. For that one, we are going to first multiply both sides by 2. Or you can say divide by a half, it doesn't matter. Then you get 10, 2x. Then you're going to say shift 10 of 6, and then you get 2x, and then divide by 2. And then the last one is this one here. There's quite a lot of stuff happening here. So here you will first take the 1 over, and then divide by 2. So let's see. So we're first going to take the 1 over. So you take the 1 over, you subtract 1, and you get this value. Then you divide by 2. And then on the calculator, shift cos of this value. And then, of course, here it will be x plus 10. Once you get your answer on the calculator, then you're going to subtract 10. Please go through it on your own, guys. See, can you do it? 